let's get this started. So what are you guys going to do? Last session, as you guys remember, you guys briefly ran away from the Colorado space that you have no idea what it was. Running the ground. Strategic retreat. Strategic retreat. Ran away like bitches. No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I ran away because my party doesn't like being used as guinea pigs to test damage types. Anyway, go. I totally strategically trapped it down there. Okay, so so this this door is shut, if I understand correctly, right? Or whatever it is, the secret passage that lets us get down yeah, there is the shut, right? Yeah, the statue is on top of the trap door, so the thing cannot get out. But we also are compelled that we cannot leave. Correct. The second you get Do around within know? a mile of it, like. I'm sure, I'm sure one of you would have tested it probably and tried to walk away and notice that you can't. If you try to fly away, the you 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 force like when you're close to being around a mile, you kind of convince Shandak to whatever you can decided to call your flying mount to and you have to come back and you have to. There's no ifs and buts. You have to get back. Do do we know if this thing is just beyond the door like underneath the thing that's being blocked by the statue i believe the loud tuds of something trying to hammer against it is the, your first you know sign that yes it's right beneath you hmm. elson go be brave <laughs> uh i mean well that's my question like do we want to set up outside of this uh little little square where we know it's going to come out and just wail away on it as soon as we open this thing it would make sense, yes, to bottleneck it right here. Yeah, that, that, yeah. Just bo everybody stand back. Nosk, stand back. <laughs> and then we open the thing and we let it come out, and we just, we just, you know, wail away on it the moment it, it makes itself appear. You guys want to heal yourselves before you do this plan? Uh, Where exactly is the door? Where the arrow is? Uh, it's where the S is. This thing right here, right above Shad. Do you see this right here? Thing on the map. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Thank okay. you. Shad could use some healing, but I don't think that we have very much right now. Uh, I have three potions of cure moderate wounds and one potion of cure serious wounds on me right now. I, I, I mean, I have a couple of potions of cure moderate, but it's down like 40 points. I mean, we might as well start, you know, popping a few potions if we need to, because we don't have nor, right? So I'm going to use my uh, small one, light wounds. So when you use a potion, you don't get any like benefits from any stats, right? If it's one of my potions, no. If it's one we found, then you, I believe you should. But if it's if it's one of my potions, because I'm not potions casting the spell. Potions don't carry the benefits from the caster. They're there's uh they 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 just receive a flat bonus. Like a cure light is always gonna have the same stats no matter who made it, unless the DM made a specific one just for the for the campaign, like I do for my other campaign. Okay, yeah, there we go. So cure light is just one d eight plus one. Yep. Or... Roll away. That's three cure moderates. I just did it in in one instead of rolling three. Gotcha. I got pretty much exactly the points I needed. Yeah, I see that. Uh, Mirror Girl, how are you doing? Oh, I'm fine. So I'll just stand behind now. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> Always, Always the same bet. Always the same bet. Hide behind the pile of dead ropes. <laughs> Before we go into this, you still owe me 750 gold. That is the thing. Wow. Well. <laughs> that seems reasonable. All right. Seven fifty. Yes. I'll take that off. 
just in case she has to leave you behind. All right, Nas, go ahead and heal your seven hit points. And while we're standing here, Shad is going to put a rune of shocking grasp on his axe. Okay. Uh, Nas, Nas, how are you doing? Do you want a another potion of cure moderate wounds? I think I'm good. I still have a serious on me. Okay. Anybody else? Like I, I can. Like I said, I have three moderate wounds. I can, I can spread them around a little bit. Is this a door up here? Yep, and they're all open. All the doors are open. You guys left it all open. So Nora and Bell are gonna go upstairs. Take watch out, uh, your little pet. They're upstairs. I think the the snake is trapped down below. Yeah, because I tried to blow her up. Right. So okay. it's safely hidden away down there. Yes. I think your snake could go through walls and such. Oh, she's safe where she is. Now, Mirtur, if you want to bring any undead back, there are plenty of bodies in this place. Can I build anything useful with them? Oh, nice. Some skeletons. You can probably rebuild shields. some of the ones you had, for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't have anything right now except for Shalambe, so... Yeah. You can probably rebuild the big skeleton with two arms if you want it, and then just... It's not going to have a head, because there's no useful heads anywhere, but who needs a head? Somebody who wants so to get ahead I'll, of um, I'll have just a, a few skeletons. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Like, like special skeletons or just straight up skeletons? Her choice. She's the necromancer. I mean, oh, I'll, I'll soup them up if I can. Romance if she wants to. Yeah, besides, I think Shad killed a few horses here, or did you guys all let the horses go? Oh, um, we let the horses wander off, didn't we, when we started riding the flying guy? Oh, yeah, that's right. But there are some dead bodies upstairs without heads, but you could use their bodies. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll build, I'll take five. Um, or how, how, what, what, what's the highest, what can I get? Oh, you know what, we'll go ahead and roll me a wisdom check. Okay, please. I'm coming, I'm trying to figure out roll 20. No worries. Wait. Yeah, not ask. Find a find a place to hide. <laughs> yeah, is this hiding or? It's kind of weird with the stairs there. I don't think this thing is just gonna deck whatever's closest to it. So you can always come in halfway through the fight and stick a stab at it. And and me and me and Shad are like, you know, flanking this trap door effectively, right? Sort of, yeah. It always... I mean, it's huge. Remember, it's a. Uh... It occupies three by three, so when he comes out here, it's going to come out big. Hmm, okay. I could uh, potentially risk my luck and start throwing the fire dagger, the cursed one. That has since have worked well in the past. Oh, yeah. Just want to be helpful. So this is a three by three. So if it's going to come up, it's going to come up like right in the middle between the three of us, right here in F3, right? Mm-hmm. And mirror draw, you might want to step back somehow. Uh, okay, I thought I was as far back as I could get in the room. Uh, you can go up on the stairs if you want, or you can even go out the door. I mean, the doors are open. Whether you guys want to block it or close the wall, or I'm can gonna try I and get to the position. Oh. Sorry. Can I still see it from all the stairs? Oh yeah, for sure. Okay, I'll stay there then. This is. Yeah, I'm Jen's also. And... Oops, sorry. He's going to cast Mirror Image on himself. Okay. From what we've seen, it looks kind of gooey or incorporeal. Midro, you have the thought that maybe you have somebody who could help you with skulls. Oh, yes, Timmy. He shows up with a bag. How many do you need? Oh, how many can I make? Nice. How many can I make? Do you, um... And that will dictate how many I need. He's like, I only, I only keep the hands, though. If you want, I can write a few graveyards for you. Fine. I love that. I love the fact there. that Timmy is just supplying us with skulls. <laughs> yes. Well, we've been uh, supplying him with a couple. It's like that old saying, like a wizard uh, asks a rogue, "Do you know where I can find a human skull?" And the rogue's like, "Only if you don't ask any questions." Uh, what, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? And he shows up a bag with, with seven different skulls. I'll take that one. Nice. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Can I make any fast healing, guys? Absolutely. 
I don't think Okay, nah, I'll just make five level one skeleton dudes. Okay. They can soak damage. Yeah, I, as an yeah. commission, I want to say now that, that you guys have created, we have, guess I've murdered enough people that you can easily make whatever body you want to make at this point uh, up to your, to yeah, a reasonable, uh, you know, reasonable amount. Like, I'm, I get that you guys keep getting killed because they're always at the front lines, and I can't help that the tactic for the monsters is to kill whoever's at the front. But you, you have ample ample materials to resupply yourself, so. Nah, we're getting you that belt, just saying. <laughs> Alright, is Shad just gonna do a, a fly kick on the on the stone? Throw that thing out? Uh, yeah, he will drop into rage first, and then he'll kick it open. Alright, this is Sparta, yeah. here we go. This I've got my, my tower shield up. Alright, so he comes out and right into the room, uh, looking extremely angry. If you could tell what a gas, ang angry gas looks like. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna oh. put them right here, Mandy. So if you wanna put the skeletons a little further down. Do we do we get it because we prepared for this? Is there like a like a round we get against it or no? Uh, I mean, as soon as he comes out, you guys will get a, all get an whoever is right next to the exit will get an attack opportunity as it's coming out. It's first time it's been free. However, millennia has been stuck here. Okay, I'm literally pulling it uh, right here. So I'm just gonna put just a little one one space back further. There we go. All right. So all so you you can all get a type of opportunity, and it's taking its full move to get up here, and then we'll we'll start with Nas. But yeah, go ahead and go ahead. All of you who are around, oh. get your type of opportunity. Nos, if you do, could, do we need to roll initiative right now? Uh, we, we, we're going to use the same initiative that you have already in there in the turn order, just for simplicity. Uh, I, don't I don't see a turn see order. anything in turn order. order. Well, in that case, yeah, then go me. ahead and roll. So it went. So go ahead and uh, so Elson, Shad, and the five skeletons, you get a free attack of opportunity because you're all standing right next to it. And as it comes out into the ground, into the area. Are we going to take them in turn order? Do you want us all to just go? Just go. I'll add up all the damage. This thing hasn't taken any damage yet, so there's no chance you guys are going to kill it. I have to roll again. I'm guessing the second one hit, so it's just a miss. Oh, uh, what's this thing I see? Let me check. Oh. I searched for the creature and showed up, bring up, brought up the movie from the 80s, Color of the Space. <laughs> nice. Okay, AC is twenty three. So yes, you you do not you do not find wages miss. Also, you hit uh, and you nah. do. Let's see here. Uh, as you now, also because you're the first one to actually strike this thing, you notice that it's in fact incorporeal and you can add that to your knowledge of stuff that you know about this thing. It seems to be half a there, okay. half here. So, so does that mean my damage is like less than or uh, all incorporated creatures take exactly half from all types of damage regardless of being magic or not unless you have ghost touch weapons or other things that bypass etherealness oh huh. okay oh wait oh that's right i know you have an animantium. um yeah adamantium yeah, not, well, adamantium so I... does not bypass stuff but if you have a ghost touch weapon of any kind then yes that would go full damage into this thing before before we we ran, I had used one of my two doses of violet venom, which does one d two strength and con damage with a thirteen fort DC, uh, and I had applied that to my weapon as we were trying to figure out what we were doing, okay, and then we just ran. Okay. 
it's poison. I'm saying this thing is immune to them. Oh, never mind. It is immune to poison. Ah, Sorry. Course. Okay. Well, oh, you notice that your poison doesn't seem to do anything to it. There you go. So now you learn some things. All right. Let's see. Anything else that's done damage to it? Looks like the so twenty damage from also which becomes ten. It's got miss, 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 miss. Okay. Does the does the crit at least hit? Oh, there's a crit. Right. Yes. Uh, yeah. So it's um just a the damage then. Uh, three points of damage. Which becomes one. Yeah. But hey, so it's one point of damage. damage is damage. Yeah. And this thing doesn't make a sound. Like that's the weirdest thing about this is it gets completely silent. And Nazca, are you throwing your dagger or no? Oh, Elson, you're first to go. I'm thinking about it. You didn't do that in like the initial round? That, that's You only got that no. opportunity if you're right there to make okay. an attack, so he wasn't. So. Yeah, and I was okay. hiding. Uh, then, yeah, I mean, I will, I will take another swing at this thing. Go for it. I don't think I have anything that does anything to incorporal. Ugh. Yeah, I'm just going to take a swing. Okay. You hit. You doubled the amount of damage you had taken up to this point. Nice. Do you have more than one uh, attack? No, because that's with Vital Strike. Gotcha. Are you happy where you are? I'm flanking with Shad right now, so okay. I believe that gives us a plus two, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stay there. Alright, mid roll. I hear nothing. Hey? Uh, Here we go. Do it just for the funsies of it. Oh, that does anything. Slow. Spell resistance. Yep. So roll spell resistance. I guess the best way I can describe it is your magic. You you struggle to get your magic through to this thing. Let's see if you get. It's twenty three. It's on there. Oh, you did overcome it. Never mind. Okay. So as far as you know, it went perfectly fine. I gotta make a will save. What do you mean? As far as we know. As far as we know. That's messed up. <laughs> yep, as far as you know, this thing is slowed. Alright. So you can only make a single attack well, uh... per turn. Okay. Which is all you can make anyway, so. Oh, that's it has a mind. Does it also mean. Oh, it's immune to, to mind affecting effects. Oh. Oh, God. So is that what that is? is that, that is that a mind affecting, affecting effect? effect? I don't think it is. I don't think it okay, is. Okay, I was just I was looking at the will save. But you're right; it would say it up top, wouldn't it? And it does. Let me not. check. It does. It, huh? Let me no, check in the mind effect and see if there's anything here that says uh, not affected yeah. by will saves. No, it doesn't say. So yeah, it's affected. Affected by it. Okay. Just checking. Nice. I'm not seeing anything on the list of mind spells. Alright, uh, are you going to take a stab with your skeletons again? Yeah, Damn yeah, right. so the one that double critted, did he just lose both his, uh, claws? Oh, the fumble? Double fumbled, yeah. Uh, he lost one of his claw, I guess, because he could only make a single attack with each of them. Okay, so he's just poking at it with his wrist bones. Mm-hmm. Help! Oh. And that one didn't fumble. Yep. Right? Correct. Okay. And no damage. Yeah. Yeah. Fortunately, no damage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you still have and, a five foot. If you um, like to five foot out of the way. I was going to say, can I get any further away from it? Uh, if you are at the top and... of the stairs, it cannot reach you where it is. Okay. But I can't get any further away when, and still see it for spells. Oh, you could. If you want to even go further up the stairs, if you can. Just scoot a little further up the stairs. Okay. All right, the brave rogue. Mm -hmm. yeah. I actually forgot to look at my cantrips. 
Is acid splash like it's a cantrip range? Yes, it is. But is that AOE too? It's not going to do very much, but yeah. I don't think it is. Is it? Acid splash should be a cantrip. Yeah. No, no, no. He's talking about AOE. Like I don't oh, think no, it's going to hit AOE. anybody else. No, it hits just the target. Range touch. So, actually, I've never done the calculating of how my spells work. Well, for us, it's probably just be a 1v3. Well, how do I... You roll like, to attack, attack it? It's your, just your normal range attack. Yeah. <laughs> and as a special, has no spell resistance. Yeah, I mean, as a rogue, you kind of want to get in there to do your sn sneak attack damage, but at the same time, you're also pretty messed up, so... So what you doing? Are you casting oh, a splash? Yeah, I'll try to do that. So ranged. Mm -hmm. And probably miss. Oh yeah, I probably have to move, don't I? Am I able to move five feet and see it? or? Yeah, from there you can hit it. Uh, but unfortunately, that is a miss. Alright, and that's it for you, Nagi. I am going to load up on my fun blade toys, which includes Ghost Touch. All right, so you five foot it. Yep, and then we drop the hammer. I don't see Negi on the map. South. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, my bad. Uh, spell strike, shocking grasp, empowered. Spell resistance. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like, do I have to hit you first? Oh yeah, that too. Or it's power resistant. Yeah, I'm like, uh, you know. Miss. That's gonna miss anyway. Yep. Uh, second attack. Or free attack, I should say. Oh no! Can you? Do you have a range? Uh, reach. I have lunge. You have lunge. Okay. Miss. I'm guessing that doesn't hit either. Oh. Okay. Try again. Third time's the charm. And they say that. Miss. At least you're consistent on your numbers. Oh, I, wow. Yeah, really. I see that. Well, I didn't hit, so I still have the spell. <laughs> Shit. Alright, I'll just make a full round attack. Alrighty. And the first one that hits will also deliver a shocking grasp. Okay. So 14 on top of it. Uh, spell resistance. Uh, yes. Spell resistance. Roll for it. 27. 27. Okay. It's in there. Yep. Oh, I see what happened. Shad hacked my thing so that way they, all my crits go to him. <laughs> <laughs> I get 3, 4, and 8, and he gets 20s. <laughs> wow. I, I don't know exactly how much damage that is. Like, like... It's not as much as you think so it is. So, first one is 55, so it gets halved. 27. Wow. Adding. Second one uh, doesn't confirm the crit, but it's 41. So 20. And the tech, tech number two there that crits does not confirm again. Uh, another 21 points of damage. Alright, it's starting to look pissed off now. Oh, good. And its turn, it will take its one single attack on Shed, as it's, it recognizes as the biggest threat in the room. This thing is intelligent. We oh, roll really low. Uh, and that will. He's got mirror image up, and he's also blurred. You got four of them? Yep. When did you cast those? Jeez. Before we open the hatch. Yeah, just no. before right, the fight. It's past the blur. Oh, okay. uh, it's uh, the blur is the blur 50%, right? Uh, blur is uh, 25. 25. That's displacement that is 50, right? Right. Yeah, you're thinking Yeah, it's displacement is 50. So, it's damage. So, you got four images. Five yep. is a hit. Not a hit. Not a five. All right, down to three images. Bad. Alrighty. Elson. 
Whew, okay, everything's going good so far. Yeah. I will... Why would you say that? <laughs> <laughs> I will take a swing. <laughs> double, double fumble. Hit. Oh man, I am doing minimal on my extra damage every time. This is really annoying. Maximal on your ma your normal damage. Stop. At least you're doing damage. That's the one attack, right? By the strike. That's it. Right, Midro. Fast combat today, Jesus. <laughs> oh, it's the if one get right There, I can do a lion attack and miss Elson, right? Yep. This thing is huge, so you yeah. can cut off like about three quarters of it and still not hit anybody. Yeah, I think you're. Dragon I think I was gonna say. I think you're technically above us too. So right, you roll spell resistance. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, did not overcome spell resistance. The thing is, like, it didn't take anything at all from this. All right. Now I know. Zambis. Oh, and then all my my guys. Mm -hmm. We're gonna miss horribly. You know how you have the little big skeleton with the double hand that was like a, a big skeleton? I just keep thinking like Power Rangers, like you have all the skeletons jump on top of each other and just make this mega mega skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Why did you put that hilarious. In Does anybody need a foe? Oh, I put like over here so he's flanking with Nagi. I mean, I'm not gonna complain about it. Okay. Yeah, so how much money did I owe you? Again? You want to try to have a scout to move here then? 750. Yeah. All right, making acrobatics. Oh, he doesn't Still care. In acrobatics. He doesn't care. Nope. Hmm. Okay, and he's Take good. safe. It's a, it's a skeleton oh. that doesn't make yeah. In this situation, yes, it does require for it save. Oh, sure, you can break the undead rules. <laughs> this, this is a disintegrating touch. If it, if, quick, three things that require for it save that are not spells in the situation, an attack, supernatural attack that is disintegrating, then that requires for it save. Hey, that's, that's enough damage to, to destroy him anyway. Oh, even if you make the save. Okay. Well, the opportunity has been taken, though, so... <laughs> wow. <clears throat> Fine, I'll go send this one over there. Wait, does he does he get attacks of opportunity with slow? Yeah, he does. That was wrong the other day about it. So. Which doesn't make sense yeah. to me, but it is the rules say that, yes, it doesn't prevent an attack of opportunity. It just means you can do one single action, either move or attack on your turn. All right. So that's me. All right. Nosk. If you five footed, if you get a flank flanking action now with the skeleton who's very his brother valiantly committed yeah to it. I am uh as well get that sneak attack frozen. damage. So yeah, I guess I'll uh, five foot and hug a skeleton and go all out. Alrighty. And you said sneak attack from here? Mm-hmm. You are you have a diagonal with the... Excuse me. Uh, I didn't see the skelly up there. And I get my full round? Because I fired Yep, correct. Needed. And I forgot to. Right, so... Did we say my second attacks on each hand get sneak as well? Yeah, they all do. Including the one you fumbled. All right, so the first three hits uh, doesn't confirm the crit, but there are three. No, sorry, the first two are hits. Roll again to confirm that fumble. Do I roll the same? Yep. The exact attack. same attack again. Mm -hmm. Alright, you fumble, so you do... Uh, would you like to stab your brother? Or the skeleton? I guess I'll roll for that, because I'm the, I'm the DM. Ah! Nice. Feels like there may be a conflict of interest in that choice. 
<laughs> Elson El- 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 can have odds. Right. Elson can have odds. One is Elson. Two is the skeleton. Oh, Midril's there too. Midril's upstairs. No, uh. she's upstairs. <laughs> Alright, skeleton took that. And it's a crit. Nice. It's probably killing the skeleton. So, on my second attack, dagger, it hit. So do I roll sneak attack? Because it wasn't included. Uh, yeah. Do you get sneak attack on all attacks? You should, yeah. Yeah, you should. Okay, then you get sneak on that and sneak on the fumble. Alright, go ahead and roll 5 to 6. Real quick. Where's the flank from? With a skeleton up there, up there. Oh. Oh, okay. So, so his twenty-two missed. Yes. Yeah, I'm not that surprised. And uh, all right. So I sneak attack that skeleton too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you create that skeleton. Sorry. The skeleton will not. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that skeleton's dead. He'd be dead. Yeah. It's okay. We have. Major but drops the piece of paper. Seven fifty plus a skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> That can't be worth more than six silver. Come on. Jimmy comes back. Hey, they're hard to find, okay? I'll get you more Have skulls. you been to the recent oh. morgue? <laughs> Anyhow. It's not disintegrated. The skull is still let there. Let me add up the damage here. 23 divided by 211. Sorry, I'll do them individually uh, next time. 5 plus 18, so. 23, under 11. Uh, Let's go from the crit. That's miss, miss, miss. Alrighty. Uh, let's see something real quick. Alrighty. Nagi. Alright, so this is going to get a little weird. So I have the spell from last turn. So spell combat, but open with the melee attack. <laughs> Would you like to five foot next to, the, to Nosk? <laughs> no reason. <laughs> Just Shaggy. Alright, that will hit. Alright, give me the spell resistance. Oh, yeah. Natural 20 on the day. Congrats. Yeah, I couldn't get that on the freaking yeah. attack, though. Alright, so. Nice. Oh. Shit, how does that work? 1.5 the variable. Okay. Work maybe. Uh... Huh, that did work. Alrighty. Yeah. So seventeen fifty. When this is all ghost touch, remember. Yep. Wow. Uh, Sixty-eight. Mm. Right, that's it. That was anti No, you understand what I said Forget. last time. You. I get... <laughs> You know what? Take it as a compliment that your your setting actually made us think we were overmatched. All right. Yeah. I did. I, I, totally thought we were get <laughs> God, I did try to raise, make it a little more scared than it looked. It didn't appear to be. <laughs> the problem was I didn't know if any of like once I found out it was incorporeal. It's like, oh, okay. Now I can make stuff work. And then once Shad did like the shocking grasp thing, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I can sell out. Wasn't well, there two also, more... Sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say, so the um, when I turned on my haste buff, it did not actually load, and the crit confirm that was an 18 should have been a 25. Uh, which would have been an extra 80 damage. Okay. Yeah. Plus, she should be getting technically plus two on all of her attacks. From the flanking? From the flanking. I, I had a flanking buff set. Oh, yeah, okay. Built into my macro. That. Point is, I was expecting like a 300 point monster with 30 AC that was immune to most damage types. Technically, it was at 165. It, it, it was at 126, but it fed on the bodies you guys left behind as it was coming up. Wow, so so it's dead now? Yeah, it's gone. Oh, wow. Okay. She murdered the color out of space. Lovecraft would be pleased. Maybe. So if I remember right, so, so the cloud dissipates into nothingness, and you feel a sense of are elation. Are any of us? Are any of us still glowing green? Um, 
it be the second that it green. dies. Uh, the only thing that the only person who saw glowing green was that woman you guys murdered for no reason on the bottom of the pit. Okay, bullshit. There was a perfectly valid reason. Yeah, she seemed all like a human. There were many valid reasons. Right, no, I. So I suppose. I feel like I just need to read this out loud to you guys, just because it's hilarious. Uh, give me one sure. second here. If the PC successfully cured the poor woman of both the color blighted template and her insanities, and arrange for her care and take care under their wing and themselves, award them an additional six to four thousand XP for curing a, a, a mighty cleric of phrasma. Okay. <laughs> so, so wait, wait, wait. You do wait, not get the bonus the XP from killing a cleric of phrasma. No, here's the problem with that. So, if we cure the cleric of phrasma, we have a necromancer. <laughs> Which could cause issues. Well, I was going to say that would be a wild what if we alignment bring back shift. the cleric as a zombie. No, you, you, guys play within your, that you guys play within your alignments. I'm not saying it was wrong. I'm just yeah. finding hilarious that you guys didn't miss out on 64k XP. Which I mean, it's fine. There, that was too much. That was probably going to be too much grief in the end. Anyway, go ahead and level yourself to level 10 now. If you take a rest. How easy um, is it going to be to make it to level 10? There any... oh, wow. Think, so that, uh, I'm assuming we're going back down and looking for something expensive down there. Oh yeah, I guess you guys can yeah, look for loot. While you guys level up, I can start giving you guys the stuff that you guys... All, you guys left a lot of stuff down there anyway. Are we so giving up on the box here and finally talking box. to the voice of reason? Yeah. Do what again? I'm, I'm asking Midral, are we, are we done with the box and listening to the voice of reason? <laughs> the box? The box that you dragged us down yeah. here? He what are you talking about? That the bot. Never mind. The box. Exactly. No, seriously, I talk about Pandora's box that got taken away by Katoda. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you have no idea where that is. Hey, guess what? I'm a better fighter than uh, Elsa. I'm DMing at rescues. Yeah, I don't know about that. No, literally, I have fight fighter training. <laughs> wow. Uh huh. We'll see. So, did we check F27? We did Looks not. like there's a pathway down there. You guys have not looked at F27 now. We went in numerical order and went to 26 first. That's where you look at the 250 feet what deep you... tunnel covered in bodies. Yeah, we are leveling right now, right? Yeah, you do have a level, level 10 right now. Uh, that'll take a minute. Yeah, but while you guys level up, I can, if you guys are going to go, who wants to ever do the scoop? Scoping rolls, start loading for stuff. Scoop a what? Yeah. Scooping rolls, you know? Scoop all the loot. Oh, well, I'm going to stay close to Midril because I know how she likes to be uh, discretionatory with her looting. Completely honest every time. I never said otherwise. Mm -hmm. All right, so where are you guys going to loot first? <laughs> uh, just go in any order. It's you guys. I cannot tell you guys where to go. Go numerically. All right. Uh, Unless somebody has a better suggestion. Perception check in F22. I'm just going whoever wants to do that. And you can okay. use your level 10 stats if you want to be a jerk about it. I'm not. It doesn't matter to me. Really. No, but if I wanted to be, if I wanted to be a jerk about it, I'd be like, so my sentient weapon and I both get separate perception checks, there right? You go. Did we ever check the bodies of the weird people down south? Alright, so in F22 there's nothing mm -hmm. worth the value. Nothing at all. Where the hell did I put my level? There it is. Oh, yeah. Okay, so F22, nothing of value at all. Hold on. Did, any, did people do protection checks yeah. yet? I rolled not uh Elson rolled that was Yeah, that was a twenty three. That was enough to search. There was nothing of value there. Does Timmy want the skull of the big guy we killed down south? We'll get there. Alright, F twenty three. No other perception. I'll let you know if if you guys miss it or anything. Oh yeah. 
All right, Elsa and I can I, I agree to have found something there. Uh, you both run into the same thing. It happens to be a shining metal helmet among the detritus in the chamber. An untarnished campaign helm appears from a Taldan Marine officer of the Shining Crusade who ran afoul. I guess you wouldn't know all this stuff centuries ago. I guess in a knowledge history you would have picked that up. But yeah, you find a, a shiny helmet. Like, does it appear magical, or...? It does radiate magic, yes. Uh, spellcraft? Hang on. Yeah, I would have phrased it. it you do feel it has some significant value. Alright, spell... I know, it's very magic. Alright, spellcraft. It is a helm of underwater action. English? That was in English. Okay, description? <laughs> you get an action underwater? I'm looking at that. Normally I would look, but I'm trying to do my sheet on top of there that. The wearer of the helmet can see underwater. Drawing the smaller lenses and compartments on either side into position before the wearer's eyes activates the visual properties of the helm, allowing to see five times farther in the water and light conditions would allow them for normal human vision. Weeds obstruction the light to block vision in the usual manner if the command word is spoken. The helm is underwater action gives the wearer 30 foot swim speed and creates a global air around the wearer's head and maintains it until the command word is spoken again, enabling them to breathe freely. Value? Neat. Um, $12,000. 12000 12, gold. If you sell it to a person. Otherwise, it, it's 24000 to craft it. So 12000 12, if, if you vendor it. Yeah, Raskis, he is a mega. Here, Elson, this can be your share. <laughs> I mean, I guess so. Not monetarily, if you're going to actually use it, I mean. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's, Cause... Keep, let's keep looking. And, All right, we and can also, because you had a high perception, you also find something else. You also discover a familiar amulet in the rubbish bearing the image of a gagged skull. Why is that familiar? It's their sign of the whispering way. There we go. Cult, right? Yeah, yeah. Yep. So you know they've been through here. Shock and surprise. Dun dun dun. And you know that these amulets are worth pretty much nothing. So like I mean, five gold. They have gold and jewels. Five gold. <sighs> Freaking cheap cults these days. All right, and I guess you guys want to check where you murder all the poor scums and the gigantic guy that had schizophrenia. Yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. That was sad. It always make us seem so evil. But you are. I disagree. You guys literally murder hobo everywhere you go, so that's pretty evil to me. We do not murder hobos. We employ them. Fair enough. Because by paying people to murder, it makes it a lot better. I mean... We, we are giving them ad, ad, advantages to, to, to... Or the chance to take advantage of, of an opportunity at a better life. You know, elsewhere. Just saying. Operative word, opportunity. <laughs> so 15 masterwork tridents, because you broke some of them. And then this spellcraft on the, on the guy's had a giant axe that the guy had. And is in feet. Is 10 feet level or is 11 feet level? What? Is, is 10 feet level or is 11 feet level? Are feet levels even or odd? I can't remember. Every can't odd remember. level. Every odd level? Yep. Okay. You get an additional feet every odd level. Damn, I need one more level and then I'm a monster. Okay. Alright, so, uh, spellcraft check on the axe that the, the, the giant dude was using. Alright, that's enough, Mitchell. It is a plus one defending great axe. My dice are not here today. You also find, uh... I'm just gonna copy and paste this. It's easier. Masterwork have a steel shield. Uh, 
Oh crap, getting our debt. And Emily and show armor plus two. Sorry, didn't mean to base the entire stats from the monster there. <laughs> Wait, you said amulet of natural armor plus two? Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything you can know after after that. It's just the amulet of natural armor plus two. Uh. Oh, and there's more stuff. Of course, you find some gems, which, yeah, of course, just showed up there by accident. Just by accident. Uh, here. Definitely not attached to any bodies or anything. Yeah, among this, this brilliant bits of rubbish are a dozen gems worth 50 gold pieces each, and a brooch and two bracelets made of the strange reddish fish gold worth a total 450 gold pieces. Oh, this might play yeah. If something is worth like almost nothing like this, I just give it to you guys because it's pretty much pointless Fair. to keep making a brace for something that's less than a thousand. Uh, you get a uh, pen. No. All right, then you guys murder hobo everything. F twenty five. Hobo implies that they move around. This one looked like it just stayed here. F twenty six perception as you go into F twenty six because the... you guys clear all these places last time, so we're just going through the loot now. Can't see crap. Alrighty. Strange. Okay, uh, I do need a spellcraft. You find a, uh, a set of rapiers. All right, you find a set of patched plus one cold iron rapiers, so two of those. And I need a, you find a lot of jewelry with the same fish gold material. This one, I will need an appraiser check. Ay, ay, ay. You know what? <laughs> That's hilarious in every level. <laughs> and it is worth 1400 gold pieces. Since you're also never roll high in here, so. How do you have plus 17? Huh? Do I? I know I took something that, like, buffs it. Okay. And then a, a lot of ranks and high no, intelligence. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to figure out plus 5 plus 12 means 32. Or not plus 5 plus 12. Plus, plus 5 plus 10 is, like, uh, 35. And I'm like, where'd the rest of it come from? I yeah, I um, I I took a trade or something. For... Sounds about right. And you also find uh, one of Nosk's favorite things, a chest, Cursed dagger? a chest, an, an old wow. barnacle encrusted chest. Clearly, it looks like it's been dragged from the bottom of Lake and Carthen from all the sea life uh, still live on it. Can I check for trappers? You sure can. You should probably. It looks perfectly safe to you. That should be plus five. Um, do I? A 21? Yeah. Good do for traps. Perception. 21 still looks perfectly safe to you. Mm. Do I have to do another one for seeing if it's locked? All right. Try to Time to it. take the, first, the best two spells in the game. Fireball. No, I already have fireball. Anyway, uh, so yeah, it doesn't appear to be trapped. Can I check if it's locked? Is it the same roll? Uh, it is locked. Try to disable the device. Do it. Hands back. Yeah, you disable it. Well done. I shall 
open it up with my back. And this is gonna make your, everybody's gonna be happy what they they see here. Bing, sparkle, sparkle. I quickly hide everything in a praise. No kidding. Bullshit. <laughs> Jokes on him is a phrase that I think is like zero. <laughs> so... <laughs> Not in like, this is a joke I... and just tosses it in the corner. <laughs> because I had uh, like shit. Oh, in all the history, real quick, as we open the chest, to be him. Whoever is, because I'm sure y'all looking. If you see a chest, there's no way you guys are not going to be looking at the chest. Yeah, I don't. Have yeah, I don't. Clip. I don't have any points in this. Does skill. anybody have knowledge history? I do. I do. Give Okay. And Mitchell does. Right, Mitchell gets it too. So I can just easily post this because you. Yeah, that, that this seal is a 20. So it holds. The chest holds 8,800 8, gold pieces, 6,665 6, silver pieces, 2,500 uh, copper pieces in coinage minted in Sheliax over 300 years ago. I lost military payroll from the heyday of its empire because you, you see like a, a payroll sheet that indicates it was from the Sheliax empire from 300 years ago. Is this stuff okay. still good, or would we have to melt it down? That is a very good question, actually. Unless you try to use this in Chaliax, yeah, it's perfectly fine. You probably would get stabbed and decapitated okay. if you go to Chaliax, but I'm sure you guys are nowhere near that, so who cares? Probably not. Also, I mean, yeah. Well, we probably have people who can uh, do some finagling with it. I mean, I don't know how they would know it's the stuff from 300 years ago from the stuff from 100 years ago, but, you know. Also good, true. But yeah, it looks perfectly fine. Can we get that converted into gold for ease of use, unless you're going to make us carry the entire chest back? I mean, it is a pretty damn heavy chest. Fair enough, we'll carry the whole chest back. Give me an appraise on the chest if you want. I mean, I still have I still have a lot of room in my bag of holding too. I can I can carry the thing. I don't think your bag of holding is going to cut it for that amount. Jesus. Oh, depend like how much is how much? Hey, there's sharks. How are you? A lot. All right. So Shed thinks this chest is completely useless. Elson also thinks the chest is completely useless. Like it's it um, has no value. Probably just leave it behind. That's what Elson says in Shed. I feel like the rest of us disagree with that. Well, so thing. far, Midro is the one who realizes the value of it so far. Well, you got a 27 and a 24 above Midro, and that's everybody. All right. All right, Midro, come down here to Privy. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> Every time! I'm going to burn the chest down. I swear <laughs> to God, I'm going to burn the fucking chest down. All right, that chest is a collectibles item. Uh, the DC was 25. <laughs> oh, so Nosk knows too. Yes, wait. Nosk needs to be down here. Oh, yet. yeah. Hang on. Okay. Nosk, I'm At sorry. At this point, it's about survival. Nosk, you made the DC as well. Come. Yeah, right? Exactly. Nosk, you made the DC. Come down here as well. Sorry. Who? Nosk, you come down here as well. Oh, the honest one? Nice. All right, so yeah, the, the chest, you recognize as a collector's item. Uh, I don't know if Midro and Nosk would like give you a nudge to each other to realize that it's a very rare collectible item. But the chest itself, if you can find somebody with this much money, is worth 10,000 gold pieces. Oh. Well, uh... Hmm? We're going to have to tell them... If only to convince them to carry it back. Unfortunately, yeah, because it's heavy. Yes. All right, let's go back up there. All right. Totally worthless. No I'm kidding. I mean, that's your prerogative. It's actually worth quite a bit more than the money inside. <sighs> what? And I say this as I just kick the chest, right? Like this this piece of junk. If you, if you try to kick the, the and picks up the chest. The chest isn't even moved. You your shit actually cannot even pick up the chest. It's so heavy. Adamantium. Uh, what? 
It's a 300 wow. year old piece of military memorabilia from the greatest and military can I to figure out what this thing is made history. out of. Oh, it's just made of wood and barnacles, but the the fact that it's a oh, Chad, it's a mem oh, right. it's, a, it has, it, it has, it's a collector's item. Well, I was more I was more hung up on the fact that Chad couldn't lift it, and then I forgot. Oh wait, no, there's ten thousand gold in there. If we uh, empty the <clears throat> yeah, if we empty it, I mean, how how heavy is this thing? Well, if you empty well, I mean, it, you, you, you might have to drag money. it because it's heavy. It's really heavy. How many skeletons do we I mean, have? me and Shad are pretty strong. Like, I'm pretty sure between the two of us, right? The two of you and three skeletons. Probably, yeah. You could probably carry them. And then our magical friendly pony. Oh, yeah. Why don't we just... Shad cast an large person on himself? Oh, wait. Never mind. That's the only one that I have for uh, haste or would rage. Would you like to be enlarged? I mean, I I imagine if he's one size category larger, plus the strength bonus, he'd be able to at least carry it to Shantak. Uh, yes, I can do that for you. Can I get the price on uh, a hireling to tag along with us to appraise everything that we find? <laughs> yes! Like a small little acolyte. <laughs> I, I just see Midrill. Well, that's a free skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> and because she's the one with the appraisal skill, it's like every fight we get into. Oh, I'm sorry. You were just in my line of sight. I like, I you know, you just, he, the, the guy got in my way, you know? <laughs> I know we should have kept... all of us. I mean, yeah. No, we should have kept one of them uh, <laughs> intelligent zombies. We'll get more. I need another beer. So are there other rooms? Yeah, I think we're still... That was still... That was F26. Uh, so that was the... Sign. That was the main room. Yeah, if you go to F27, uh, which is the... That, that, that tunnel... This passage uh, went through the earth for miles, miles and miles, uh, all the way beneath Ilmarsh, then the city that you guys were just in, and open into the waters of Avalon Bay beneath the town's wharves, Area D3. So you actually come up right underneath the, the docks. Ah, I was going to say. It's too well, do we do we even want to do that? Because I don't think we want to leave our mountain. And this right? passages also connect to the Hall of Recondite Order of the Indomitable Sea, that temple that you guys visited earlier. Yeah. That water that was under on that temple. There's also access from under here. Wow. Yeah, you would require water breathing if you want to go out into the docks. But you can if you take like a quick look, I mean, go dive down, look it up. You see that you're right underneath the docks. Someone could use the helm to go check it out, yes? Yeah, you easily do that. Nelson, get to it. Is swimming a... I mean, if I'm taking the helm, then yeah, sure. Yeah, swimming is uh, affected well, by your armor, so you might have to take out your armor. So so what am I What am I looking at? I'm, I'm looking at the docks? Yeah, if you go through this tunnel, you eventually comes all the way down beneath the docks of the city. Oh, I don't think I don't think I need to go check that out. I, I We don't care, right? Like, right. yeah. All right. We just I don't I don't think we want to leave the mount behind. Right, so you did clear the, the, the place you're doing and go talk to the mayor? Yes, we need our payment. All right. Uh we might want to land outside of town and walk yeah. into town. Instead of flying Sean talk into town. Probably a good idea. All right. So uh the where do you tell Shant uh your little Shantak to stay? You guys remember his name still? I thought his, I thought that was his name was Shantak. Like is that the creature he is, but... Oh. No, then no. <laughs> I, I was not here for that. Even I don't remember. Like a, uh, so. Even I don't remember. <laughs> uh, I mean, we could just give it a new name. He He's an intelligent creature. He's got his own name. Oh, okay. But... Hey, is your... Uh... You befriended him, right? Yeah, I can I can ask him his name, but uh, for now I'll just suggest to him that he stay here. And I guess we 
How far is it to town from here? Uh, it's about five minutes south. Okay, so yeah, he can just stay here, and we'll walk, and I'll ask him to protect the chest. Mandy, give me a perception check as you guys are leaving the house. Uh, just me or the snake, uh, too? Just you. I mean, it should be pretty easy to spot this. All right, uh, as cool. on the way out, you see a sign to the right that says Family Cemetery. Huh. <coughs> Go take a look. Oh, God. Anything interesting? Six graves. Billy Bob and Joe. <laughs> Pop out my uh, trusty animate dead wand. All right, you get six skeletons. Ooh. And another perception check since you animated the uh, animated them. All right, one of the skeletons appears to have a, a ring on its bony, rotted finger. Hmm. What do I think it's worth? Uh, it radiates magic. Oh. Uh, spellcraft. It, it is a ring of force field. Force shield, sorry. Ring of force shield. God would like that. Take that. I'm sorry? Hmm? What was that? I said Shad would like that if you don't want it. Or if you've already got rings. Mm -hmm. no, right now, Shad that. doesn't know that it exists. Yeah. That's yeah. true. But just throwing it out there. I might want one of the rapiers <laughs> unless you have to use two. Do you, does yeah. the rapier actually buff you? Yeah, I think he uses a rapier plus one right now as his offhand weapon. So yeah, that one is a cold iron plus one rapier, so it's good against. Yeah, I think that'd be devils. a good upgrade. Yeah, I don't know what that cold stuff does. But yeah, that's what it is. Cold it's iron good. is good against devils. Uh, some certain devils require cold iron to get past their DR. All right, now that we headed a little detour, the family cemetery. Yeah, sorry, Shad, I'm holding on to that. That's fine. They're actually not that expensive, I imagine. He'll be able to buy one after this anyway. All right, you go back to the horrible, stinky town of Marsh and its fetid, pungent smell. You get back into the town hall, and Mayor is nowhere to be seen. Great. One second. They're like an executive assistant or something, Sam. One second. Okay. Yeah, any butler. Uh apparently all all of the the uh, town halls people are all missing as well. I don't like this. Let's go check the tavern. Alright, there are people in the tavern. I'm missing and in Nobody's seen them anywhere, or they're just not in the town hall? Uh, they're not in the, the town hall. is empty. This is the oh. sign of a struggle. Oh. Okay, I'll follow Chad. I don't care. Wait, there was sign of a struggle? Yeah, a minor one here. Before we go, can we take a check for that quantity of gold that he was supposed to pay us? Is that still here? Yeah, good call. Wisdom? Oh, Wisdom? To remember what it was? I was Lucia. Major remembers exactly how much gold that was. Of course. It's very on brand. It was 2,000 platinum per person. Okay. Can we? Yeah, is, this, is, is it like in the okay. house? Or oh, this is the town hall, but no, it doesn't, that doesn't appear yeah. to be anything of value in, in this town hall. Like, 
you guys decide to rob the town hall, right. you don't see any safes or anything of any sort. Okay, we ransack it and don't find anything. Do you guys want to ransack the town hall in the middle of the day? Like the, the whole town is gone. No, no, just the town hall. It's just the town hall, but if anybody walks in, we can just say we're investigating these people. There was clearly a crime committed here, right? Mm, exactly. Yeah. That or, and we can get, just kill them. Probably. Yeah, they owe us money. Yes. They did hire us to solve, you know. What? It's not. We've been hired as heroes. Not a second too long after you start searching the place. The sheriff, like, what are you doing here? You shouldn't be here without any escort. So, so... Who was it? A sheriff? The sheriff you know, a followed with a few guards. We were hired by the mayor to complete a security detail. We completed it and came back to find a ransack here, trying to figure out what happened. I don't see nothing out of the ordinary here. It's just like a mess of town hall, like it always is. Yes. Okay, where's the mayor? In your mayor, yes. Well, maybe she should go check in his house. That's usually where he is. Then let's find out how good you are at his job. Let's check his house. Okay. He points to the house across the across the street. Like this house right here. It doesn't it doesn't seem much different than the other houses in the neighborhood. It's just it's slightly bigger, slightly less smelly. Somebody should stay behind. At least one person. Nosk. <laughs> um, For his own safety. <laughs> well, I was going to hide behind around uh, the corner. Um, I mean. I think I think me and Shad would go together, up up front. So, I meant somebody oh, should just completely stay at town hall. Oh, okay. A second. I was gonna kind of watch both. All right, as you approach the house, the house is silent and unlocked. Uh, doors burst open. Actually, if there was somebody who broke in. Ain't playing no mansions of madness, man. <laughs> And Sharp is a little taken back from from seeing this. He says, "Wait here," and him and his guards come in, just come into the, through the doors, the windows, looking looking in and inside. It's empty, but there seems to be sign of a struggle inside. Yeah, we uh, told you that. I just want to make sure they're not taking anything. No, they're right? saying no. Like... They're they're just looking from the outside. I mean, none of them went in. They're just looking at inside. I see blood splatters inside the house. Can we perceive? Um, you can. Like around the exits, if there's blood trails. Yeah, perception check. And there doesn't appear to be any trails per se, but uh, the blood blood inside the house looks a little odd. Is there any bodies inside? You, you do not see any bodies. Just blood splatters. Does it look like enough oh, to be no. a dead person? Uh, no. Uh, okay. Oh. Major, however, if with I a wisdom of 18, you do notice three uh, blood splatters that, as it looks like if somebody tried to draw them on the wall with their hand. Anything coherent? Uh, Major, uh, with that wisdom, that's what I'm giving this to Major because she made the wisdom. Um, uh, what do I need to do? Uh, you, you already rolled the wisdom check, or was that not for it? Um, I don't. Oh, oh that, that was for. Was, the, I think oh, I'm sorry. Else. Give me a wisdom check. <laughs> the perception you noticed. Okay, so Mirror doesn't re quite remember this, <laughs> but Nosk spotted the three blood splatters on the wall. I guess everybody can give a wisdom check since you're all uh, you. Uh, um, Nosk, like that looks odd. <laughs> like it was hand drawn. You want me to do wisdom as well, or no? you can if you want. Of... Yeah. So Nask, not Nask, <laughs> Nagi and Nask agree. Like, yeah, that is very unusual. And you do remember that's exactly what the turn rocks look like. 
like those three like the shape like in, just like that like it's not like somebody tried to draw where they're being taken or something with the the turn rocks the turn rocks I gonna lie, I don't remember what the turn. Yeah, it's not ringing a bell for me either. <laughs> Was it on the way? Do you guys remember the, where the place does rocks where people prisoners get sent to to stay out there in the middle of the ocean? Oh, the little That's island, really the, the island, island in the bay. So Alcatraz. Yeah, but it's just like a little uh, rock uh, that for the for the people who live in the town, it's just a little place where they just shackle the prisoners that just stay there for a while as a punishment. But it's you find you'll find it very odd that they will be drawn down on the wall in blood for some reason. Do the so guards some, notice this? Or either somebody's trying to them? send us a message or mm. set up a trap. The or, guards or have not noticed the blood yet. They are looking for bodies, checking. At... Any sign of your money here? Money? Yes. Any sign of our money here? No. I think so, we should go ransack the if, town hall. If the, <laughs> the sheriff doesn't, doesn't you're, you will not, you would do no such thing. I I look at him. I'm like, exactly what position are you in? <laughs> well, if we both understand that he was talking, or the blood is about the island, I'll tell that to the party. Just, unless if the uh, guards understand or. Find that out themselves. The guards. Well, we, yeah, I mean, we can say that away from them. The yeah. guards have not noticed the blood spatter. Only Nosk. Like the the guards and the sheriff were away. From, uh, were looking at other areas. Uh, Nosk noticed. I'm sure you would not just let it know. I mean, you, I'm sure you don't know who to trust at this point. Yeah, we should probably like smear that off the wall or something. Just just Probably like rub it idea. a little bit. Well, let me see. Yep, you easily click, <laughs> smudge it. Nice. Easily. Right, well, Shad will leave the mayor's house. At least. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. He'll go stand in front of the town hall and wait for everybody else to come out. I don't know if they're staying in there to look for something. But... I mean, yeah, we might as well, well congregate at the town hall. Uh, not a few seconds later, uh, the sheriff and the guards come out of the mayor's house, and like call all the rest of the town guards. We have we have murder. We have a murder on the on the loose. Like I'll I'll ask him. Did you find a body? There's no body, but there, the, the amount of blood in this place, it's obvious that the mayor has been murdered. Indeed. Okay, just for a point of clarification, the turn, the turn rocks oh. are out in the bay here, right? Here, let me get the map so you guys can get an idea where that is. Yeah, it was deception. I have to zoom in a lot. Oh. But uh, down at your marsh is a little, it's D. And the turn rocks are B. Okay, I just uh, remembered oh. something. How far is the prison island compared to the very large fin that we seen the other day or when we came to the town according to this map several miles well you are four miles from the turn rocks and you are also four miles from that little drawing that has not very much over to this campaign <laughs> lovely and i think someone did knowledge of something and realized that there's a potential god out there. Maybe. Huh. Or okay. Imitating, or I don't know. All right. So, something how do you like... guys are want to proceed? I mean, I think the trail leads to the Turn Rocks, right? I think that's where we're heading. And we want our money, so we might as well be heading out there next. So we get to talk to the fun boatman again. Oh man. That or take our mount. Oh, yeah, true. By the way, where are we stashing this chest while we uh do all this brouhaha? I think just with our mount. Okay, this be probably could have left with the mount, yeah. Yeah. I also still just do, 
Do we care where the mayor is, or do we care where the money is? Care where the money is. I mean, I the, money. the money is. I I'm not sure why they would take, you know, a hundred thousand platinum pieces out onto some rocks with him when he was being murdered. Uh, so yeah, but there's yeah, the chance you know. of us. There's the chance of us going out there finding him along with whoever took him out there. Like we've been following this cult for a while now. If they came and took the mayor, they probably took the money. <laughs> We only have one. The thing. house was very or, heavily even ransacked. Even if we don't have the money, he knows where it is. So we have. Yeah, he never had the money in the first place, and then we're going to have to kill him for non-payment of services. Most likely. And the house was I'm heavily okay ransacked too. So if there was any money, the house is gone. Well, so we think that a guy whose house looks like a shack in a mud village was storing a hundred thousand platinum pieces in his hundred thousand said each of you were going to get two thousand. Or sorry, two so ten like ten thousand platinum yeah. pieces, hundred thousand gold. You see, gold. People, you see the way they live; they think this is normal. I guess that's true. Look, either he <sighs> has the money, and we go there and we get the money, or he doesn't have the money, and we go there and we kill him to send a message. Agreed. Yeah, I agree with Nagy. Yes. Yeah. Maybe get a little medieval. I mean, what? <laughs> We have metal. I have books. Oh my god. It's a party. Alright, well, so should we... Dog. Well... Do we have I... anybody who will actually go out there? Shad is flying. Absolutely not taking a boat after last time. Oh yeah. And you can fly that far. I'll fly with Shad. Shantuck can fly that far. Oh, right, right. Shantuck can fly. <laughs> yeah, I, I forgot, forgot about Shantuck. Yeah, so, so I, I, I think we all hitch a ride and Go out there. Get all above Puff the Magic Dragon. Alrighty, so you guys get to completely bypass this few chapters. Um, well, is there a cow we can buy for him? Are you, you're saying we're bypassing a bunch of chapters? No, 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 bypassing parts of this book. Oh, okay. A chapter of this book. Skip seven pages so. to this page. God damn the players and their ingenuity. That's fine. You guys got the resources, use them. All right, you're on top of the turn rocks. Look around, I guess. Uh, but before we do this, I just wanted to clarify. Uh, Nosk, you are still, like, de-leveled somehow, right? Like, like what, what, what is it, the conditions that you have right now? I think it was just de-leveled. Or did I get magically healed because I went down? We never might have got cured. Time. I'm pretty sure you still have a negative level. All right, so you... It lasts All right, for 24 so... hours unless someone casts Restoration. And we already know that Nord doesn't have Restoration because we ran that dr that drill last week. Yeah. So right. do we do we want to? Are we taking a rest here in town before we take yeah, off? Definitely, you need to you need to sleep if you're gonna level 10. So yeah, you could you could sleep and yeah. in the morning go check out the rocks. Okay. So so is Nas gonna have all his levels back? If we sleep, yeah. yeah. Take a long okay. rest. Okay. And then I can't remember, and I feel like it's just an obligation to ask at this point. Did he catch another venereal disease somehow in the last session? It wouldn't be another oh, session if he hadn't. <laughs> you know, I, I did catch it, but I, I was pretty sure it was cured while resing mm -hmm. me. By, like, he had to cure me just to res me. <laughs> Okay. At some point, it's not gonna have. You're not gonna have resistant disease. Disease is gonna have resistance to Nosk. Yes. <laughs> that is great. He's just trying to build his immunities to everything on the planet. So you're saying like, I'm indestructible? It's like my chest piece will just mold to my body. <laughs> yes, but which which phrasing of the word mold? Anyhow, morning comes around, you guys. <laughs> You guys eventually steal a cow from somewhere and feed Shantak a cow. As you guys always do. Or you just find a random animal in the woods and feed Shantak an animal. Yeah. You have a nice breakfast. He's, he talks, he keeps, he won't stop talking all night during the watches about the book that he's reading. He's very proud of it. Yeah, do we have any books to keep them occupied? Thanks. Yes. 
Right, in the morning you do flight to the rocks here on top of three islands. What do you do? The okay. the twenty one perception that I rolled, I rolled when I thought we were at the top of the rocks before. Okay. Yeah. Or, I'll, I'll join in on that. Right, you see nothing out of the ordinary up top. Thus. All right, uh, Midro, you notice that Mara is looking down uh, into the water. What's in the Nagi water? Nagi also sees it. There seems to be a some sort of yeah. light coming underneath the rocks. But you'd have to dive down to get to it. Are we sure these are rocks? Is it green? It is not green. Elson, put your Elson, put your helmet on and go down there. Uh, oh wait, what am I? What am I doing? You're wearing your little water breathing helmet and going to see what that is. Well, what do you so this is under off? the rocks. Yep. Yes. Like like under the water. Yeah, there's, there appears to be like a, a tunnel way way deep down there. Only Mara and Aggie got lucky and caught a, a little flicker of light at the very bottom. Okay, so how yeah. how how far from the coastline is it? Uh, it appears to be 400 feet down. So I can technically just walk out from the coastline and then walk back up, right? You're on the, on the top of this little island, and you look down into the water. It's 400 feet below the surface. Oh. Below the surface. Not 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 towards it. It's below. You have to dive down if you wanted to get to it. I mean, a champ. Well, I mean, if I'm going down there, I pretty much got to take my armor off. I don't know if I, I, don't know if I feel comfortable mm. with this. Actually... Question: Which, which of you is the which is which of you is the swimmer in the family, Nosk or you? I mean, probably me since I've got the better physique. I can send a couple of skeletons with you if you like. Do skeletons sink or swim? Well, it doesn't matter. They'll just sink down to where the light is. Um, can you see what they see? No, no, but they would know enough to. Stay with you if you run into trouble. So he, here's my here's my question. Um, if I say jump into the water or walk into the water wearing my armor, obviously it's going to keep me at the bottom. Oh. And then I can just walk down to this thing. Uh, real quick, I did forget one little line that I'm yeah. supposed to read this out loud. So as you land, as you fly down uh, upon the turn the turn rocks, a steady rain begins to fall from the overcast sky. But the waters are calm, allowing you to uh, get to turn rocks safely. But a second you land, uh, you catch sight of a massive tentacle about miles, miles in the horizon. It's like just like what you would see here in the picture, like miles away. There's um, uh, a massive tentacle of what looks like matted hair emerging from the water far, to, uh, far, far to the east, only to quickly disappear beneath the waves again. Yeah, fuck this. I'm not walking down there by myself. Fuck that. That's 400 feet below. This one is five <laughs> miles to the east. You'll be fine, Elsa. I'm saying you can have a little guard with you. They'll distract anything that attacks when you come back. <laughs> uh, it'll be fine. You'll um, be fine. Don't worry about it. Is that something you've seen in your vision? Uh, someone had a vision, right? Of the box? Oh, no, no. That That thing... It was completely different. That's fine. All right? Are you guys gonna? Is who's gonna drop down there? The skeletons and anybody else? Elson. Are you going down now? Our brave, our brave fighter. Um, well, how many feet did you? Four hundred. Yeah, that's a whole bunch of. Yeah. No. Nope. Without Unless... without water breathing, nobody else is gonna be able to go with me. Which I don't even know. Do we have that spell? I don't. I feel like somebody had that spell at some point. Like we needed it. You guys have the helmet. You could take turns going no. down. Elson, put the helmet on. <clears throat> oh god damn it! I mean, you, you'll be ten for two of you could go around because the the little bubble is enough air for a while. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, because it creates a it doesn't it creates a bubble around my person. Around right? your head. Elson, did you put the helmet on yet? Um. All right, so. 
like I said, if I, and again, I want to get this for clarification. If I walk in there with my armor, I can walk back out with my armor, right? Like, it's not like a cliff face. No, it's just straight down. That would be a cliff face. Then yeah, it's a cliff face. So I would not be able to get back out wearing my armor. You can climb. You wouldn't be able to swim very well, but yeah, you could, you'd be able to climb back. Oh, God. I I don't feel comfortable going out there, going down there without the group. I'm just saying. Yeah. I, don't I, don't know. Know. I still don't feel comfortable breaking up. Yeah, I at all. I like. If there is there a way for us to be able to to move as a group down there somehow? Does anybody have any ideas? We could go back to town and get some scrolls. I have. A, I have, I have one idea. idea. I have one idea. I push Elson over the cliff. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> that is not enough Hold to on. push him. CMDS yeah, team. that is definitely not enough. <laughs> no. Well, I guess, yeah, his CMD. What did I roll on that? A two? A five? Don't I get any bonuses for surprise attack? <laughs> You get perception check if you beat the ten. I would say you you you, you catch it. No, 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 no! I know that, that he's going to be doing this. <laughs> so, is anybody going, or what are you guys doing? Chad, will you go? Are you asking me or telling me? I am asking you. Of course, I'm asking you. All right, screw it. I'll go. There it is. Let's go see what it is. Well, then the, you got three skeletons with you. All right. Skeletons can't swim. But they can sink. It's fine. All right. Nothing says high morale like watching right. your compatriots float to the bottom we of the ocean. We eventually come in front of a... There appears to be like a bubble of air, and there appears to be a tunnel with uh, air inside of it. Uh, you place yourself right here in G1. But yeah, you, you could take a minute or so and climb back to let people know what you saw. Okay, so I, I'm seeing this tunnel. It clearly leads to some type of cavern, and it clearly has air down here. Yeah, you can poke your head inside, and you see that there is, although musty and s smell disgusting, you can still breathe in there. Okay, I'll head back. All right. And I, I will let everybody know that there is some type of cavernous network down there that um, we may need, as a group, need to go explore. How long did it take you to get down there? Uh, if you just straight up drop, it's a, it's about 30 seconds. You can all hold our breath that long. Mm -hmm. I mean, mind you, I probably sink a little faster than everybody else, but yeah. And how long did it take you to climb back up? About five minutes. It's like we could take stuff out of our magical sacks to weigh us down a bit. Mm. Don't think I'm looking forward to how you guys are going to get back later. Cause... Well, I mean, I technically have a magical scuba diving helmet, right? So yep. we could just pass that around. As we I mean, climb you back guys out, take right? turns of just sucking a little bit of air out of your face from time to time as you're coming up, because it's going to take five minutes to come back up. Yeah, I guess we can so do it that later. Anyway, yeah, if you all want it, if yeah. you're all ready to go down, we can just bypass this. There, Yeah, there's no reason we can't also just, I don't know, run to town and buy some underwater breathing potions or something. It or I could probably, I could probably make those... Well, no, because I'd have to, somebody would have to be able to cast a spell. Do we do we care enough to worry about that, or are we do we want to go down? I think it's fine. It'll be fine. Or, yeah. uh, before we go down, do we see anything else on the rocks? Like, yeah, that's what I was going to ask. No. Take like no entryways or. Yeah, isn't there supposed to be like people chained to the rocks or something out here? Uh, that was up top, was, uh, but there was no, nobody chained up there. Yeah, 
but these are not like huge islands, right? Like these are small. No, they're huge islands. They looked small from a distance when you guys were looking six miles away, but when you get close enough, there's plenty of dead prisoners up there. Okay. But today was empty. Uh, I guess there's a few from previous, but none of the people you're looking for, you do not recognize the mayor upon the bodies. I probably should have said that. I'm sorry. Okay. Everyone else, we good? Sure, why not? <laughs> Actually, I can think of several reasons why not, but still. Come on, Sprinkles. Come on, buddy. Alright. Uh, any, anyone else? Come on in, guys. We kiss. Uh, Alright, let's go. This morning. Yeah. Ugh. I swear. Had enough of this Rylai shit. This is starting to feel like a lot of work for 20,000 GP. Close to 140,000, but yeah. What do you mean? Oh, I was talking overall. Never mind. Well, I mean, I am curious about this whole stupid cult we've been somehow shadowing this entire okay. time. Hey. A dim glow emanates from the mouth of the shallow cave. At the back of the fissure, a lens ripping glass covers a circular opening 8 feet in diameter. The transparent lens provides a distorted view of a dimly lit cave behind that appears to be free of water. But at first it looked like it was a lens, but it actually is a watertight seal that you can easily just walk through it. Uh-huh. Can we breathe? Yes. Okay. Like a like a magical seal of sorts? I think like a bubble that you can walk through. Huh, okay. That's why I asked, can we breathe? <laughs> yes, you can. Intricate carvings cover the slimy green and black stone walls of this unit unlit chamber. The walls and ceilings are damp, and the air reeks with a repulsive fishy smell. Um, we don't, no signs of people, life, that kind of stuff. Mm hmm. <laughs> Allison, go be brave. <clears throat> well, I was going to say, I mean, at this point, we inch forward, right? So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we'll, we'll inch our way forward and, um, kind of quietly and see if we can see or he and or hear anything. Alright. Just before I turn the corner. I think yeah, you are a terrible tank. Well, I said I was moving up. Yeah, move up. Well, move up. Oh, sorry. Uh, and I did roll a perception check. I don't know if that counts for anything. Alright, no, just. You saw what I, you, I said you saw? Uh, the second you step into this room, however, it appears three things dimensional uh, door in. Yeah, that sounds about right. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful perception roll. To see nothing, and then they jump on you. <laughs> I don't think you can see it through a dimension door. You can't. <laughs> That's annoying. You uh, see the thing they used to see us before they end up showing up and seeing us. <laughs> and as you imagine, they roar and ready to ready to fight. Okay, so what what am I seeing? What are these things? Uh, knowledge planes, I believe. Hang on a second. All right. Uh, yeah, knowledge planes for those of you who, who run into this room. I do not have that skill. I definitely do. They look like that. They look charming. No eyes, just a big mouth. Very long, yeah. elongated, elongated arms and legs. Oof. 
Uh, you know this is a dimensional shambler, and you can ask a question about it. Hey, what what is it? What are its resistances? It's the only thing I care about. <laughs> DR5 lawful. It resists conjuration. Okay. I have a very important question for you. What is my alignment right now? I don't know. I seriously doubt it's lawful. I mean, even if it's lawful yeah. evil, that's important. It's not lawful. It's not good. Damn you. God. I don't care if it's good. Anyway, as you guessed it, pro initiative. Does anybody else have knowledge Reason. planes that would like to take a crack at it? Wow, I almost got a one. The reason I ask is because my weapon matches my own alignment. Chaotic evil, then. Chaotic evil! Yeah, that sounds about right. I'm offended, both of you! That sounds about right. Yeah, at this point, we're almost all chaotic. Yeah, yeah, we are. <laughs> Nagi's very predictable. Yeah, I, I'm like... Neutral evil at worst. I don't know that you can be considered lawful. You're predictable in the sense that if you give your word to do something, we know it's not any good. Lawful. When have, would... I, when have I not followed my word on something? Yeah. Follow up question When have I ever given my word on something? It's also a good point. I think you basically just described chaotic. <laughs> yep. No, chaotic. To me, chaotic would be when you can't predict what they're going to do. We know exactly what Nagy's going to do. I rest my case. It's fine when we get when we face against something that needs a chaotically or evil aligned weapon. Then I'm in business. Alrighty, good rolls. Wow, that is the lowest roll I have had in ages. Ugh. I'm so sad for you. Alright, let's look at tactics for these guys. What are they supposed to do? Oh, okay. What was it? DR5 lawful? Alright, we're gonna have to deal with that. All right, they do some guttural noises, you know, ugly stuff, etc. Is it a language? Uh, appears to be just a roar. Doesn't have to be. Doesn't appear to be a language. More like an angry, guttural roar. Yeah, uh, does anybody speak Aklo? A K L O. Uh, uh, definitely not. Yeah. Unfortunately, no. Just a roar, then. Would a, would a linguistics check help? Sure. Uh, something along the lines of surface dwellers. Nice. Yes. Okay. So we'll come to you. Oh, this this stuff is not correct. One second, this this stuff is not correctly marked here. There we go. It was a single claw. It says two, but uh, it's just one. Does the 28 HRE see Elson? Miss. That's flat footed. Uh, where do I see that? Minus your dex mod. Uh, still be a miss. 28 is a miss. Jeez. 
I have 32 AC. Nagi. Uh, he's got a point. Uh, hang on, I'll put my modifiers in real quick. Five footer. Mm hmm. And the electrical nuke combo. That it? Yep. Okay, so 15 fire damage and. Oh, we're at 10 now. And 33 shocking. Alrighty. Very nice. Uh, that's not all. Hit. And anything added to that or just 10? It's still 10 fire. And that's probably going to miss. Yep, that's a miss. Yeah. So I just. Uh, this guy's gonna come here. Back Nagi. Why are you gonna do a thing like that? Oh, why Nagi? I don't know. Ladies first. <laughs> Does a 35 hit you? Yes, but your 16 first. will yeah. not. <laughs> 15 damage. I'll eat that. Ladies first, so it would be a 50 50 on who he hits. Elsa? I'm going to remember that, Nosk. Why is he already <laughs> offensive? I don't get it. <laughs> um, I will attack... Actually... But seriously, what is the what is the choke there? Uh, I will... Wait, which one did Naki attack? The one in front of me. Um, if I move around, can I move around to the back here without any attack opportunity or anything like that? Oh, crap. Oof. Did this say you failed? Does a 31 and, uh, or a 29 hit you? Uh, thirty. Wait. Thirty-one or thirty-one 30... or twenty-nine? Because I had to do the two things. Uh, no, right. both miss. Go ahead. Thirty-four uh, misses you. I thought you said your AC was thirty-one like 30 or twenty-nine. Because I, I I had to roll this two attack separate. It's only the first two that are count. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So thirty. Yeah, my AC is thirty-two. Yeah, so okay. those two miss as you were. All right, I will take a swing at the one that Nagi hit. Hit. Doesn't appear to do as much as he thought, but it did some damage. Oh, every time. Every time, man. You gotta learn. You gotta learn how to harness the elemental varieties. This is this is literally why I have an adamantine sword. Just saying. Right, the thing is gonna come next to you. It. It's gonna right. try to right. grapple you. <sighs> Lovely. Farewell, Elson. Oh, I didn't put that stat in. So it's a plus eighteen. Does that grapple? Does it beat your CMD? You said CMD, right? As in Delta. Yes. Yes. Uh, Twenty-six. Right, so you are grappled. And then they dimension door out with him. <laughs> and he's never seen again. <laughs> Nosk, you're up. It's, it's one way to kill off a player, right? <laughs> Pretty sure you have to be willing on that one. I don't think... Yeah, can't get the... Uh, flanking wood anything, huh? You can. Where would that potentially be? That would be the top right... Uh, well, no... No, no, he's, he's grappled. I don't know. No, should you back to full hit points? Uh, oh yeah, it should be. You should have healed ten yeah, over nine, so yeah, it should be a forty-eight. Because you heal one hit point per level. 
Okay. So, uh, would I have to use boots of speed to get there? Oh, yeah. Did everybody or just their hit points speed? after leveling? Yes. I did. I yeah. have not. Yep. Uh, I'll take so a look said... at Nas' sheet and mess with it right now. All right, right Nas, where do you want to go? I guess uh, flanking. Okay. Or was it over here? Yeah, right there. And would I be able to reach that with 30 feet? Yep. So just one attack then. Correct. Hold on, hold on one second. I got to make sure your BAB is good. Oh, everything's. Yeah. It's. Right, make, make her, okay, make go her ahead. one attack in offhand. Go ahead. And offhand, you said? Right. I mean, I thought I'd just get my. So when you move, do I only hit with my offhand attack? Your main hand and your offhand, because because as a two weapon fighting, right? You have it, so you always make your offhand attack as well. Don't you have two weapon fighting? Yeah, he does. Yeah. So he he should technically get four attacks. Four if he hadn't done a full round of action, but because he had to move, he just gets a single offhand attack and his main hand attack. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, don't confirm the crit. Oh, nice. Yeah. Alright, so 15 plus 20 is 35. That will miss. Ah, my thing's been buggy. I gotcha, yeah. Okay, so, alright, you missed the second attack. Uh, Mirtrel, you're up. Okay, I'm going to try to magic jar steal this dude, the one that's grappling Elson. Okay. It's a will save. Okay. In a box. Second. And that's plus one, because I haven't, I haven't put my level up in yet. So this is 22? Yeah. Oof. Made exactly the wrong. Alrighty. Uh, I guess you don't care if they provoke? Nope. I mean, they already went on Elson, so unless they had combat, what you call it? Combat reflexes? Yes. Oh, I guess they don't. Yeah, they, they already went on Elson. You're right. Did we write down a... Uh... Okay, that one, however, did not. So that one, the one that went here, they will take the 17 damage here. Okay, that one's dead. Okay. All right, make your attacks. That's all I got. Um, can I make a, a note here real ah, quick? One more attack, Mr. You, you had five, one died. He had to. He had to double move to get to where he oh, is. Gotcha, gotcha. The note on my thing, or yes. So the feat that Nosk is taking at level ten is going to be crippling strike. So the one that he damaged with his sneak attack mm -hmm. has a negative two strength modifier. Okay. There's a save for oh, that. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. And I don't I, uh... believe so. Okay. It's just if they're damaged by the sneak attack. Right, okay. Plus, if I hit something with my sneak attack, I think it loses its reaction for one turn. That is okay. true, as well. Let me open up to see what that was. Right. Uh, unfortunately, those are all misses, even with the flank. Slow reaction. Okay, that's all I got. Right. This one right here will attempt to grapple Nagi. 
Why are you gonna do a thing like that? Does the 24 grapple you? Oh. Uh, Hoppa? Mm -hmm. I... My sheet messed up and it kicked me out of order. Oh. My initiative was a 10.02. Oh, go ahead then. Okay. I will just run over here. Uh, drop into rage before he starts his run. Had the missing. I like it. And just a regular attack. Almost forgot about slow reaction. Uh, double hit. Uh, no, top of the round. That one does a 24 grapple on uh, Nagi. Of course it does. I have no, I have no CMD. Alright, it's your turn. Math! So you're currently grappled. Yeah, I know. So these just, they just want a hug, huh? They just want hugs. Unfortunately, grappling link mean means I have to replan my whole thing. Uh, that need. What I need on that. Be part of sort of both strength check if you're trying to break the grapple. Heavy strength. That's the problem. Uh. Or you can just try to stab it to death if you have a light weapon. I do, but that's not the issue. See, what's their CMB? Eighteen. You don't know. Yeah. I do. You did. You rolled. Oh, the CMB. B. Yes. CMB. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Eight. 32, what's my concentration check? Boy. Ah. No, too much. All right, I guess I just have to stab him. That's annoying. And then he Okay. Dabby. Oh, sure, that I crit. Okay. Confirms. Mm hmm. Thirty, no, twenty, 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 twenty one fire damage. Mm -hmm. Next. This guy above here will try to grapple Shad. Does a 35 grapple get Shad? Yep. Ready? Elson, you're up. So, so what does grapple mean exactly for uh, me? If a lot of things. You can only do minus. Yeah, go ahead. You can't move. Minus four to dexterity. Minus two to all attack rolls and combat maneuver checks. No somatic spells. No stealth. So, but if I were to attack the one no, that's grappling me. Attack actions. So, uh, can I do a vital strike attack or no? Do you, no. Well, do you have a, a light weapon? Wait, what, what is the thing? Grab a picture. What weapon are you using? Uh, Longsword. I don't think that's a light it weapon. It doesn't say that it has to be a light weapon. Okay. 
again. It just says that it takes no action that requires two hands to perform. You can use the lights, a long sword in one hand. Uh, do you get that code one hand or two hands? Uh, I, I have a I have a tower that. shield, so I I attack with one hand. All right, yeah, don't think it's that bad, in then. Um. Okay. So that one's on me. That one's on Maggie. That one's on Shed. Uh. Can I remind I, you that the well, I don't know that you can target anything other than the one you're targeting. You're grappling. Yeah, I was. Well, I was gonna say, can I only target the one that I was grappling me? Right. Okay, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm screwed. I might as well. All right, you crit. Okay. Nice. <laughs> That's 30 points of damage. Yeah. So 25. All right. Uh, does a vital strike, right? Yes. Alrighty. It's turn. It casts a wheel plane shift. Oh god. Nosk, you're up. He cast what? Plane shift. So I'm just gone, right? Correct. You're somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I just... I'm just trying to remember because I don't know that you could do that to unwilling creatures. Wait, what is your oh, what God. is your uh, what was your initiative again? My initiative was like fourteen point one or something okay. like that. He gets a will save. Make a will save. <sighs> oh my God! Okay, okay. Yeah, about that. Yeah, I, I'm just saying. I, I'm like, I know these teleportation spells usually require willing participants. Okay, so do, do I do I know where I'm at? Well, your turn, you will. Eventually. Oh man. Dum dum dum. <laughs> oh, I mean, it was nice knowing you guys. Like, <laughs> nice, cheer up. So, is anyone grappled at the moment? Not you, Shad. Okay. You deal with the one grappling me, I can deal with the one grappling Shad. Yeah, you were grappled first, so I just seen something happen. So I would probably uh, attempt to flank and do one attack. Okay. One attack with each hand, you say, or no? Yep. It'd be plus two because of flanking, I think, but I don't think that matters. Hey, you hit. So 70 points of damage, it's dead. Yay! Does the excess uh, go to Maggie? Oh, that was with both attacks. <laughs> no, I don't, don't, don't try to make this worse. Uh, don't, don't, don't make, <laughs> don't make me one shot. Neutral, you're, you're up. Okay. I assume this thing has a skeleton. We're about to find out. Yes, it does. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice. yes, Bone Shatter, my old friend. <laughs> nice. So it has to make a fort save against a twenty-one. Oh, for the love of... Well, it's exhausted, so it gets a negative two to its um strength and dex. Okay, so mine's shoot everything. Gotcha. And, yep, and 15 damage. Oh. Yeah, that thing's a bitch. Yeah. Alrighty. Um, can those three, like, attempt to just drag it off of Shab? Uh, they can make a opposed strength check. Okay. Do they get anything for working together? Strength of bones, I guess. I don't know. Strength of bones. So just three strength checks? Yep. Oh, 
bodies. Uh, that went useful. poorly. Right. He's going to get one strength check if uh, opposed to all three of those. Oh, no, you break free. Okay. We'll see, it was this one. You just chuck him out of there. Okay. And now you get a tech opportunity against it. And Shad does gonna... as well. I'm not going to say no to that. I need just a second. Uh, my sheet's just booting back up. Okay. Oh, maybe that guy's going to go up there and take one shot. Well, y'all are doing your thing. And he's going to do another opportunity against that guy then. Okay. Oh, wait, no, because of the crippling strike that Nosk hit early, he does not. Uh -huh. He does not get another opportunity. Ignore that. All right. I forget what its AC is. Uh, that'll hit. Let's see, the, for the combined powers of your attacks, we have 13. It comes at 8. 69 damage taken, nice. Um, 25, another 33 damage. Alrighty. I guess Nosk would get an attack version as well since you're right next to Nosk. So get a get an attack, Nosk. No, with sneak attack. With? No, no, without. Oh no. <laughs> so I take all them. One second, I should pick something here real quick. Oh, uh, yeah, that'll hit. And you actually kill it. Oh, wow. Ooh. Good job, skeletons. <laughs> you actually did something. Okay. You did a yeetus the leapus on that guy. Where the fuck am I? All right, let's go. Uh, just just for to add the suspense here, uh, come down to private round one. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, real quick, let me go down to the party real quick something. All right, if you guys could pretend that you don't yeah. see this next screen. Sorry, uh, I'm about to change map for, for Elson. Just pretend you don't know what that room, that's, that place is. Oh, I'll just close. Like, you, pretty pretty much you guys just can't see that. But only Elson is seeing this. Hang on. All right, let's go there. Go back up. No, you're fine. Stay here. Oh man, okay. Okay, uh... <laughs> oh man! Alright, your turn. Oh, am I still grappled? <laughs> nope. Uh, yes, yes, you are. Holy, holy shit, is there anything else around me other than... This creature? Nope. As far as you can tell, you're in a the very dark cave. Did you have any light source on you? Uh, no. I mean, I have a torch, but I wasn't. In this carrying case, that's it. what you see, and you're grappling something. <laughs> oh. So, like, uh, do I have like negative modifiers to attacking it? Uh, just as if you're in pitch darkness, so you have a fifty percent chance miss. 50% miss chance. Oh, but you are in oh, pitch man. darkness, but this area feels very, very warm. But there's no light in here at all. Actually, now that I think about it, because of the lava around it, yeah, there's a few some sources of heat coming around from all directions. So okay. there is some luminosity coming from the tunnels. <sighs> okay. Can you hear what appears to be snoring noises to the south? 
What do you do to help? Uh, what do you want to help with, Falcon? It's your, it's your call. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try and kill this thing uh, while I have a chance. Go ahead. You can give it a plus two to hit if you want, Falcon. Do you want to give it a plus two to hit? This would be a good time. All right, uh, that becomes a 28 because chat gave you a plus two to your D20. <laughs> oh. All right, you hit, and you do appears to be 19 points of damage. The first damage this thing has taken. No, well, I did hit this thing last turn. Oh, you, you were hitting the one that well, you was fighting Nagi. You remember you said you want to hit the one that Nagi was hurt? That's the first damage. Oh, that, no, you're right. You did take some damage. No. Let me go it, back it, up to see what I, I can only attack this yeah, hang one. Hang on. Let me go see what the damage was they did that last time. It okay. was, looks like it was 17. It was 30 points of damage. So there we go. So it's 25 after the, the reductions. So it becomes, let's see, 45, 44. You know what, let's just go back up so people can hear this. It's kind of funny that they get to hear it. Let's go back to general. Okay. Back. Yeah, now I figure we'll just do the combat here. There's no point you guys can miss out on this. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, so that was that was my turn. All right, this thing is going to start eating you. Wait, are we supposed to stop watching? No, you can or, watch or, if you want. Wait. <clears throat> okay. Oh. Okay, I, I thought we weren't looking at the roll. Oh, 20. it's fine. I just I just changed my mind on it. It's fine. Uh, okay. This thing begins to eat you. Huh. Buddy. That looks familiar. Oh. Wait. All right, you take eight points of damage. Uh, okay, one second. Wait, so it doesn't have to attack against my AC it's, or anything? It's, it's got you on a grapple, so it's just numbing you. It's taking chunks of your flesh now. It's got you on a grapple. It's literally eating you. Okay, I'm going to just swing away at him again. Go for it. Oh, man. Good luck, Elton. <laughs> yes! Nice, nice, nice. That'll... 23 plus 15 becomes 38, which comes down to 33 points of damage. Good damage, good chunk of damage. I have many questions. <laughs> um, yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have absolutely no idea where the fuck I am right now. <laughs> I know where you are, I just don't know why the hell you're Same. there. Alright, another 17 points of damage. I forgot the other 6 <sighs> from the last time. Actually, let me add another 6. Uh, so 23 also altogether. I forgot the plus six last 20. time. Okay, 23. One second. Yeah, we don't know anything that's happening, but we yep. know where he's at. And you're hearing uh, snoring sounds to the south, Elson. Oh, okay. Uh, does this thing even look like messed up at all, or, it's pretty or hard. no? All right, I'm gonna take another attack at this thing. Okay. Oh, fuck. Did you go under 18? Oh, this is not good. How much damage do you have left? Uh, for me? Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you here in one second. So... That was max damage there, Six. unfortunately. Uh, I have 56 hit points left. I'm... About half right oh, now. Fine. Well, on, fine. on the bright side, if you survive, we can definitely rescue you. Okay, so I will take another swing. All right. Potentially. Oh, come on. You can if you want. Yeah, uh, yeah but it's not a matter right now. All right, another 12 points of damage. It's just eating you away. Keep getting your stabs at it. Yeah, I'm just doing my hit points. One second. Um, oh, fuck yeah. Come on. You kill wow. it. Wow. 
Oh, oh my god, I'm so you have no idea how worried I am. <laughs> I would continue was, to be worried. Doesn't mean you're safe, oh. but you you killed it. Okay. Okay. Uh I'm going to real quick take out my potion of cure series wounds and just guzzle that thing. Okay, as you hear the as this creature just did a guttling uh guttural scream as you murdered it. The snoring now noises to the south have stopped. Uh fuck. Uh Okay, so I just hear snoring loud noises to the south. I'm in a big dimly lit chamber that's really hot. Do I have any ways that like, like to the left is there any way to go to get out of here? Like that trail that goes to the left, do I see oh, that? that? That's actually not there, I'm sorry. Okay. Badge. Uh, all right, let's just take a quick second here. What What does the rest of the party want to do? Uh, so, um, I'm assuming we want Elson back? Yes. So, here's the crux of that. We can get Elson back but it requires Nor. Nor is technically with you guys, so. Okay, well, so it also might take some time because I don't know what spell she has prepped. Where's my brother? Because as a cleric, she knows both sending, which can send interplanar messages, and plane shift, which, as we know, does the same thing that she does. That this does. Right, she might have to do first divination to yeah. try to ask her god where the fuck has Elson been. Well, well, no. So sending is you contact a particular creature which you are familiar with and send a short message of 25 words or less to the subject. Does it say, what if is the, the limitation in, on that spell? If the creature in question is not on the same plane of existence you are, there is a 5% chance that the sending does not arrive. Gotcha. The creature can also yeah. answer in like man manner immediately. All right, so what, is the, what does Norse send, Elsa? That that's kind of I I don't I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, well, I can tell you this: if Shad got plane shifted somewhere, sending him a message to ask him where he is would not be helpful. That's actually a fair point. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if nothing else, it would tell us if he's alive or not. Google's divination spells. And message only has a short range. Yeah, message is just Google's augury, Google's divination. This is why I don't play clerics. Um. I mean, we could have her run divination, but again, I don't know what she has prepped. We'll say she used divination and she's asking for help to figure out where uh, Elson is. Uh, if she were to run that, yeah, then it would be basically... Uh, divination spell provides you with a useful piece of advice and reply to a question concerning a specific goal, event, or activity, i.e. Where is X? 80% chance of success. Okay. Does anybody who's rolling better than me want to give it a shot? Right, somebody roll me a D100? I mean, I did roll pretty good, but I, I feel like that'd be a conflict there. All right, fine. Give me a second. Yeah, I was going to say, who do you want to roll? And... Oh, yeah, that'll cut it. Even if we figure out the plane. She most planes plane are shift. massive. Yeah, but most planes are massive. Well, I think with the divination spell, if you say, you know, where is X, you're going to get more than just this, you know, plane X, Y, Z, right? You're going to get some type of... All right, and the very, the you, very uh, 
horrible voice like Nerf Rover would come up with. Wheel in, wheel in trouble, located in the place you're familiar. In the place of what? In the place you're familiar. The place you're familiar? Wheel of trouble. Wheel. Uh, W-E-A-L. It's a good result. Pretty much saying he's in a good spot. Yeah. I'm trying I don't to know think what the word if... wheel means. Wait, saying I'm in a good spot? Yes. W E A L? The fuck? Wheel. Yeah. I've never heard that word before in my life. Okay. Well, if anybody's got a better idea. How the fuck am I in a good spot? <laughs> You're alive. <laughs> I failed my wisdom roll, but somebody else should try. It's like you shouldn't have, Not uh, my area of expertise. You shouldn't have skipped some uh, sessions. Can't remember if he was there. Ah, uh, yep. Right. Anybody have yeah. decent wisdom? Demi. All right, Midro. Uh, yeah, all right, Midro and Nagi do realize that he he ended up in a familiar place. That's pretty much what the gods have answered. Well, is he trapped in that damn maze underneath our house? Timmy. Yes? Do you, have you seen Elson in the house anywhere in that maze? Uh, not in the maze, but he seems to be uh, hanging out with our little dragon friend uh, underneath the, ca the, the house. Oh, you've got to be yeah, fucking yeah. kidding me. You, didn't like this, you, didn't, you, you just now are recognizing that, Elson? I knew it as soon as the map hit the table. Are no, you... oh, yeah. because I was not here for that. You were here for several of those. Timmy? They were just like four or five months ago. Yes. Timmy, I, I don't suppose you could help him back up to the main house. And, and we'll meet him there. I don't know if he, I don't oh, think he likes me. Every time I talk to him, he's just so cold to me. You don't have to talk to him. Just go grab Elson and bring him back to the main house. Didn't we block <laughs> off that area? Hmm? Didn't we block that whole area up. off? You did. All right. How's Elson going to get Elson, out of there? Elson, give me a perception check. Well, now that we know exactly where uh, he okay. is, there's no reason Nor can't go get him. I mean, do you yeah, not but remember? It'll take but a that's while. a big cavern with a very big dragon. Elson, give... Timmy could report okay. exact coordinates to us. Elson, first, Maybe. give me a will save as well. Okay, that's, there's the perception. All right, you do notice Timmy right behind you. He said will, right? Yeah, and a will save. All right, you do not shit your pants. Oh, holy fuck. Okay, at least I recognize Timmy. Timmy, how the fuck do I get out of here? <laughs> how the hell did you end up there of all places is my question. Timmy just comes to you. Will you promise not to hurt me this time? I will never hurt you if you can get me out of here. I promise you. And I will bring you all the skulls I. you want. All right, well, I cannot take you through the, you know, the screaming portal of death because you won't survive that. So how good are you at running? Uh, I mean, pretty right, good. Run. I got to I could do 120 He's feet. Saying, okay, start running. <laughs> oh God damn! It. Start running. What are you waiting for? <laughs> run, Forrest, run! <laughs> oh fuck! All right, and it, it breathes fire into this tunnel. You can take a quick action to dodge to the side, whatever. And like, all right, climb, yep, climb am, the rope. I'm out of the way. Climb the rope, and he disappears. Okay, is there a rope like down by him? Right, right above you. Him is gone, but he, he showed you where the rope okay, is. Okay, I'm, cli I'm climbing the rope. I'm climbing the rope. All right, the dragon just climb the check. dragon's head Question. is coming in through. Like, there's the rope coming up to the top. Unfortunately, it's cemented above. And you just hear pickaxes coming at the hole. Ding, 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 ding. Hold on, hold on. So there's a rope that's coming down. Yeah, but there's it's completely cemented because you guys blocked it off, but the rope is still there. Go ahead and give me a reflex save okay. to dodge against the breath of the dragon. Fuck. Bye, Elton. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah. I'm fucking yeah. dead. I'm fucking yeah. dead. <laughs> Let me get the character. Like, hopefully he can't reach your body so we can resurrect it. <laughs> I I feel like that's um yeah, where's this other oh, this young magma dragon? There it is. Young magma dragon. 
yeah, young Myaris. I think it had a plus 40 and something last time we talked to it. I don't remember. Hang on, I forgot to put the stats for the breath weapon. Of course oh, that I did. was like 12 levels ago, so... Oh, there it is. Six to six of fire. Oh, fuck. What do you mean, oh, fuck? That's 36 maximum. Stop crying. Right, you think, oh, he rolled pretty bad. 15 points of fire damage. Okay, let me put that on real quick. Just a flesh wound. And he can do it again another four rounds. He's just uh, very angry, shouting. How dare we invade upon my lair? We had an agreement. And he's shouting very upset with you right now. Uh, what was the 1d4? The, the how many rounds he can breathe, breathe again. Oh. Right? Uh, the team is like, just I mean, hang in there, another 10 rounds, we'll get you out of there. Oh, fuck. <laughs> the dragon's not trying to break break open this uh, entrance of this cave. About three rounds go by. You, you start, you, start, totally you can get your arm through the opening if you want it. I in one of those rounds, can I take a potion? Sure can. Another one. Sure can. Okay, give me one second. <laughs> this is great. Are you pushing? Sure was... No, he was. I, I, I added it. Falcon. I I got gotcha. you. Teaches him to skip a gotcha. session. All right, and Chad gave you another. Oh, he actually made that save because Chad gave you uh, plus six to your roll altogether. <laughs> so you actually made that for that reflex save. So what does that mean? You take half. You, you only took five Which instead of eleven. Heal. And you just heal another. Uh, yeah, so you, th you take another seven back. You know? Okay, so hold on. I take. So instead of fifteen, what did I get? Uh, you basically only would have only would have taken seven, which you just healed back. He's alive for You're now. Fine. Well, well, no, I, I would have only taken seven, and then I would have taken seven more from the, or I would have gained seven health back from the potion. So I would have been back to where I was, effectively. Correct. All right, yeah. six rounds to go before Timmy and the crew can get you out. You receive a sending for Noor. Are you okay? No, no, <laughs> I'm not. Like, I'm about to eat the fucking dragon. <laughs> Noor's like, he's fine, guys. He's just fine. <laughs> If he dies, I want to refund on that divination. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, uh, another breath weapon. Uh, make a reflex save. Fuck. Fire. Bum, bum, uh, you dodge bum, it, so bum, you only bum, take bum, seven bum. again? You're, you're consistent yeah, yet. This is, a this is a very strong rope we sent down here. Oh, yeah, the rope is gone. You're holding on to the hole now. Yeah, yeah. Like, remember she said I, I like stuck my arm through. <laughs> Sheer will it's and like, uh... determination. This is this is this is pure flight mode right here. <laughs> it's like I'm not sure if I would uh, settle for that answer. All right, three more rounds to go, and he gets another breath weapon. Oh fuck! Hang on, I rolled wrong die. To, uh... Wrong die. Oh, this is a little better. Make a reflex save again. 50-50. You make it. You only take nice. nine damage from the fire. Nine? Okay. The dragon can seem to break through the cave, so he's just breathing weapon as much as he can. Watch him hit three ones in a row. Oh, fuck. And this is all magma, by okay. the way, that you're getting hit with. It's not fire, it's magma. How many... How many more rounds until I'm through this hole? <laughs> oh, you got three more rounds. Maybe three after this. Then did you say in the sending that you were at the house? No. He doesn't know apparently. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Figured it out, Timmy. I okay. I was I was never I was never in this cave with you guys. Yeah, you. Were I know the of box, the dragon you... beneath the house because you guys mentioned it to me, so you, I could probably piece two and two together, but um. Also, I guess I partially assume that Timmy might have let us know. Yeah, well, he did. Yeah. He mentioned he mentioned that he told Mirdral that that he seems to be under the house in the cave with the dragon. All right, you find yourself inside oh. your home. Holy fuck! And the dragon very upset oh. at the moment. 
And Timmy goes, now, oh, and yeah. he just pushes a slab of concrete on top of the hole again. Yep, I'm out of the way. I'm out. I'm out. Uh, I I am thinking Timmy profusely. <laughs> uh, right, what do you guys Okay. Next? Now, how do I tell the group? Because I have no magic, so I have no means to tell them. Right well, now. and Noor asked you, uh, are you out yet? Uh, I will respond with, I am in the house. Timmy, Timmy, help me get out of the uh, the cave. How am I supposed to get back to you guys? Can you send the, the mount to me? I mean... We're under the water, and you have the water-breathing helmet. Oh, God! <laughs> that is true. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> how... how I have a question. How far under the water are we? 400 feet. 400 feet. feet. It took also five minutes to climb up from the cave up top. Uh, so... I'll be right back. I. Where are you going? I'm going to go get Elson. You can do that? Yes. All right. What spell are you using? I, dim I dimension door my ass up to the mount. 800 feet, if need be. Okay. So about a few hours pass. I'm sure you guys will probably hide in the cave here to not attract any unwanted attention. You're gonna have to wait six yeah, hours for Elsa to get here. Yeah, I'm gonna drop. Sean talk. Uh... Listen to Nagy. That is a very good question, actually. <laughs> Diplomacy, bro. That is a very <laughs> bad idea. <laughs> not my problem. How, many, how bad? How many ways can this go from bad like to worse? To, I'd like to remind you, this is Shad's fault if this goes horribly wrong. Why is it Shad's fault? Shad's the one who's six. Because she brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because Shad doesn't want you riding his mount. All right, and the the oh man the Shantak up there, like, why is Shad isn't here? I mean, he seems to be the the handsome fellow to help it. That thinks it means Shad doesn't breathe underwater or teleport. So what happened to the rest of them? They're down there. Did you kill them? I did not kill them. Since what if? If I dropped into a hasted rage. And took full swim actions. How many rounds would it take me to reach the top? Five minutes. Did you hold your being able to swim long? twice as yeah. Well, you can no, hold your breath for a number feet. of minutes equal to your constitution modifier. It's climbing four hundred feet underwater. It's not easy. <laughs> well, yeah, but it, I guess I'm confused about why when he has double move that wouldn't cut at least cut that time in half. Even in two and a half minutes, holding your breath, you can't make it. By the, by the game rules, you can hold your breath for a number of minutes equal to your constitution modifier. Pretty sure. Yeah, cheater codes. Might be wrong. I'll double check. Finder. I know that's like that in some of the D D. For a number of rounds equal to twice your constitution score. Ah. That makes sense. So, so what's your constitution was minutes. score? Yeah. Uh, my constitution score when I'm in rage is... Hold on a sec. That's why I was trying to figure out the rounds it would require. So what's your con when you're enraged? Yeah, she's, she's checking. I'm checking. It's... Uh, 22. 22? So, 44 rounds, so... Four minutes and some change. Of course, it doesn't do math for me. I have to do this by hand. I don't have to come on from the brain. 6 of them, 3 inches, 132. 132 times 40. Yeah. Oh, God. 44. What am I doing math? I'm doing math wrong. Sorry. 44 times 6 is what? That's 284 seconds. 284 seconds. That's... Just a little over six minutes. Yeah, I guess you can hold your breath the way to the top. There's no way it's over six minutes. 44 times six seconds, because each round is six seconds. So if you can hold your breath for 44 rounds in each round is six seconds. Nice. How many rages do That's you have? 264 that's seconds. Four, so. That's 4.4 minutes. Yeah, so you, you might just run out of breath when you're just close to the top. But I guess that was my other question, though, is if he's he 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 would also be hasted, so his movement would be doubled. 
Uh, does oh, haste yeah. affect your swim speed? How many points in swim and swim and climb do you have? have we'll, we'll go from there. We'll, we'll use that. That's also a very good question. I doubt he's got much of anything in swim. Uh, his adjuster for climb is two. What is climb based off of? Oh, because of if he stripped his armor, it would be six. Which I that's for climb, but for swimming. Also six. Yeah, unfortunately, there's no way. We did the math here. You would have been just short of the surface by 100 feet. Okay. Also, the other question is, I said I would go get Elson. Why would you think I wouldn't go get Elson? Well, I guess my question, most likely Shad would have been like, he's not going to listen to you before you left. Although I guess you didn't, I don't know that you asked anybody. You just assumed he would listen to you and popped up top. Pretty much, because if they actually cared about that, I would have dimensioned org you with me. Right. Well, it's going to roll sense so, motive on so. you, and you're telling the truth, I'm guessing? Of course I'm telling the truth. Come on. All right, he seems to trust you. Like, all right, just this moment, but do not hold him to any of the scales. It's fine. He very begrudgingly flies there while reading a book. <laughs> very, begr very begrudgingly rides there while also reading a yeah. book. Three hours later, uh, Dragon lands on the home. I have uh, I have Timmy have some of the guys unload the chest and put it in my room for right Timmy, now. Timmy, uh, look like he's giving the you know the at the airport when there's like this little hand signal of somebody's trying to land a plane. There's nice. Timmy with two head skulls <laughs> like. Land here. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Timmy, where is Elson? Also, have three of the people put that chest in my room. And if anybody steals any of the gold, you have my permission to decapitate them and take the skulls. It's like, what is Timmy to have almost unlimited teleportations? You really want to know the answer to that question? Maybe. Now, T Timmy, Timmy has now, been back and forth with us throughout the whole campaign. For the sake of uh, the campaign here making sense, uh, what, what those of you guys who are left behind in the tunnel, you would have fought some of this gun, but they never gave you trouble in the past, so you would have easily over overcome these guys. I'm not going to make you guys fight these guys. They had, like, plus six to hit. I mean, these guys were... Uh, I mean... Maybe that one. They could kill Nosk. <laughs> hmm? No, I think I learned my lesson. I'm... Only uh, letting other people go in first. Yeah. Elsa! These would look exactly like the, the skull that you found in the water, except this, this, these, uh, their brains were exposed. Like, they're, say, they almost have been surgically exposed. into the, uh, And they fight a little smarter, but they're still not strong enough. They're to fight just the same as before. You eventually guys overcome this. But... Army of skeletons beat army of scum. Yes. You guys eventually overcome this. You could, you could just take like 20 hit points off of each of you just to indicate that the battle was massive. But you don't have to go through that battle. It will just be tedious. But six hours later, yeah, the we... Elson and Nagy arrive once again swimming down. And Elson will just not stop talking about oh, it the gosh. whole way. The whole I mean, how would Elson and Nagy get along flying? And something that doesn't like flying, either one of you. It, well, Elson and Nagy always He'd read a book, and Elson would do something stupid. Yeah. So do we... well. No, no, not necessarily. Not while we're flying on a on a you know mountain in the, in the sky. But no, we would definitely not get along at all. Like we would, you know, there would be some serious elbows thrown. But basically, the 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 flying mount. Uh, I, I forgot what the guy was called, but he pretty much was. I guess you can just call him Shantak for now. But he just goes, Will you two stop getting lost? It's kind of annoying. I have to keep flying back and forth. I'm, I was busy reading a book. I don't get lost. This one gets lost. Also, what are you reading? Oh, a four dimensional out outcome of the realm of Cthulhu. So much Cthulhu, I swear. Yeah, since. uh. This major mentioned to me earlier that they that they found that their Pandora boxes ended up in Cthulhu's realm. I figure try to read something to figure out how to get it back. So far, no luck. I've read like five books so far, and he starts going to all the minutiae and detail of the whole book. Uh, I do have to get going. I have to go to work. Oh, 
I go back to reading Interplan Interplanar Relationships Between Bugbears and Gintaki, Volume 6. <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> nice. Alright, so anyway, six hours pass and you guys arrive. Uh, do you guys want to keep going for the half hour or do you want to go to bed? Maybe I know you're pretty exhausted, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, I need I to go like to bed. That's a good stop stopping point anyway. Yeah. Holy as, as I drag Elson fuck. back through the cave. Mm. I got him! I swear, like, my heart has been in, <laughs> like, my throat this whole episode. Holy <laughs> shit. It took me a while to not say anything. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> fuck. And Shad, of course, is lucky that this stuff has took him out, because uh, Shad would not have ended up so lucky. What? Because oh. no, Shad was also grabbed, grappled by that other guy. He was going to teleport you to a different plane of existence. You got a will save. Oh, yeah. <laughs> let's, let's just go ahead and roll. Let's, see, let's see if you would have made it to 18. Go, go for it. <laughs> oh, shit. You would have oh, made it. Yeah. You would have begun, but you guys would not have been. And he's not in rage right now, and he gets a buff to will saves when he's in oh, rage. Look at that. So it would have been even higher. Ye of little yep. faith. Oh, all all right. right, I gotta get going. I gotta get going to work. So. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you guys for playing. Have a good one, everyone. Good it's a very short battles, but yeah, good job, guys. It was fun. It was hilarious. <laughs> so, um, thank you. Have a good night, guys. Thank you for you watching. Would you mind uh, resaying what type of rapier dropped again? Uh, plus, plus one cold iron. iron. So, as usual. Thank you guys for watching. I know usually the Saturday games are not as popular as the other ones, but thank you again for hanging out. And yeah, D and D is a little more chill compared to all the other days we play their factorial, no stars, you name it. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for some stars multiplayer. Right? Good night. <laughs>